Let's go ahead and take a look at the border move with the borders themselves actually set into the uh, uh, the edge amounts for here. So at the moment what we have is we don't make the player wait. We're going to say instead of the uh, four seconds to get over there, let's just say it takes a second here. And then on the edge, top, bottom, left and right, let's go ahead and just build this out to be um, pretty much just a uh, uh, one tile outside of the radius for the player so that when he moves around he's going to move to the edge here and then the screen's going to update right? and it'll update based on the size of the box that you have for it then our east type um, instead of that ease out bounce let's go ahead and set it back just to a, a smoother uh, direction and we'll turn our use direction left back on for it All right. So now at this point when we enable this again just like the other it's going to be constant so every time we get to that distance of a uh, away it'll actually update it for us so once we enable it here we have the one tile away before the screen actually begins to update the movement on it oh um very important note right there let's go ahead and just go back uh, so we can make a point to say, uh, to say it here on the border move, make sure you actually disable the full screen width and height. If you don't, then it's not going to look into these. These have to be disabled for it. Alright, so then we'll go back to it again. And once it comes up, then we'll start moving it over left and right. So when I go here, it's going to move over. When I go here, it moves over, up, and down. Now, notice if the player has the um, uh, the constant move, then he can continue moving kind of in a, a regular direction, but the camera will just have that little bounce as it feeds off of wherever his position is for it. All right, so there you go. Gives you kind of a fun little movement system with it, um, still allowing it to be border distance and uh, screen distance with it.